In this question, you are told A. Complete the table below for the function y is equals to x squared minus 3x plus 6 in the range minus 2 less than or equals to x less than or equals to 8. So you are given the values of x, you are supposed to fill the values of y. So here, what you need is just to take the values of x and substitute in our function here. So for example, when x is minus 2, y will be minus 2 squared, that will be 4. Uh, th minus 3 times minus 2, that will be minus 6. Uh, th that will be positive 6. So this is 4. This is plus 6. And uh, you add 6. Uh, so you get uh, this is 10 plus 6 is 16. So you feel like that. Uh, when x is uh, minus 1, then uh, you say it's minus, uh, this is uh, minus 1 squared, uh, plus 3, that's 4, this will give you 10. Uh, then you have when x is 0, you get 6. When x is 1, uh, you get 4. When x is 2, uh, you get 4 again. When x is 6, uh, 3, you get 6. When x is 4, you get 10. When x is 5, you get 16. Here you get 24. Uh, here you get 34. And finally, you get 46. So by getting those values, then you'll be able to get yourself uh, two marks. Part B, we are told use trapezium rule with 10 stripe to estimate the area bounded by the curve y is equals to x squared minus 3x plus 6. The lines x is equals to minus 2, x is equals to 8, and the x-axis, you get your 3 marks. So the trapezium rule, uh, this is uh, part B, uh, we say that area is equals to a half uh, h, uh, we put the uh, brackets, and uh, then we have y1 plus y n, then we have plus 2, uh, another bracket we have uh, y1 y1 plus uh, y2 plus all that plus y n, y n minus 1 and you close the brackets so we are going to use uh, uh, th this will be the th this will, this is the first uh, uh, trapezium and this is the last one so we just say area is equals to a half the height is 1, so we put the bracket, uh, the, the, the first y is a 16, uh, we add the last one, which is 46, and then we say plus 2, uh, we put a bracket, uh, this will give you 10, we have uh, plus 6, plus 4, plus 4, plus 6, plus 10, uh, plus 24 plus 34 and you close the bracket uh, and when you compute this uh, you should be able to get uh, 145 uh, square uh, units so that is uh, the area uh, we go to part C use the mid ordinate rule uh, with five stripes to estimate the area bounded by the curve, uh, by the curve y is equals to that the uh, y is equals to x squared plus minus three x plus six. The lines x is equals to minus two, x is equals to eight, and x is equals to and x axis. Uh, so the mid ordinate rule we are given area is equals to uh, height. Uh, you close, open the bracket. Uh, you have a, uh, you have a y1 uh, plus y2. That is mid ordinate. Uh, plus you go up to uh, you add to y to power to yn. So this is equals to. We are going to say since we are told to use a uh, five stripes. Uh, so we say the height will be two. That is from uh, minus two to zero and 0 to 2 uh, so that you add the the mid ordinates will be 10 uh, will be 4 will be 6 uh, will be 16 and 34 that will make a uh, 5 stripe because uh, that is 1 
that is a 2 and uh, then we have 3 then we have 4 that is 5 so this is equals to we just uh, uh, put our mid ordinates so this is 10 uh, this is plus 4 uh, plus 6 uh, plus 16 plus 34 uh, so you close the bracket and when you compute that you will be able to get 140 uh, square uh, units so that is uh, the area using the mid ordinate rule so finally we we go to d go to d by the integration determine the act actual area uh, bounded by the curve y is equal to x squared minus 3x plus 6 and the lines x minus 2 x is equal to 8 and the x axis so here we are supposed to integrate the lower limit should be minus 2 and 8 we integrate x squared uh, minus 3x and then plus 6 and this is with respect to dx uh, this should, should give you uh, it should give you this is a third x cubed and then we have a minus uh, when integrate this it will be 3x squared divided by 2 and we have a plus 6x uh, we close the bracket our limits are minus 2 and 8 so what you do is uh, uh, you substitute uh, so you have uh, a that uh, multiply the dot implies multiplication uh, 8 to power 3 then we have minus uh, 3 over 2 multiplied by 8 squared and uh, then we have plus 6 multiplied by 8 so you close the bracket and then you say minus you substitute 2 so it is a uh, third uh, you multiply by minus 2 cubed minus 2 cubed this is multiplication and uh, then you have a uh, 3 over uh, this is 3 over 2 multiply by minus 2 that is multiply by minus 2 uh, squared uh, plus 6 multiplied by minus 2 uh, and you close this uh, bracket again so when you compute that uh, you can use your calculator and uh, calculate that and you'll be able to get the actual area is 143 uh, and a third you leave it in decimal in a fraction form and uh, that is square units so that is the actual area and that is how you work out that uh, question